holy crap, it's it's Metroid, it's Castlevania, it's it's freaking Elton John, it's Laser Cat for the Xbox 360. It's like it's like trying to find gold in a silver mine. It's like trying to drink whiskey from a bottle of wine. You better get back, Laser Cat. Oh, this this game is gonna do me good. So obviously, I'm I'm pretty pumped about this one. I mean, it's not every day I break into Elton like that, but Laser Cat deserves it. Take a Metroidvania platformer, give it the look of an Atari 2600 game, replace the bounty hunter with a kitty cat, slap a $1 price tag on it, and steal my heart forever. That's exactly what this game's done. So Laser Cats is a really sweet Xbox Live indie game from Monster Jail Games. It was actually brought to our attention by Dan from Monster Jail, who it turns out is actually a CGR fan. In fact, he apologized for not calling the game Flamethrower Dog. But to be honest, to some people around our offices do consider that a misstep. Fortunately, Laser Cat gets just about everything else right. You play as the titular Laser Cat who lives in this tiny cottage at the edge of the solar system with an owl. I'm not sure that's how science works, but nonetheless, this game has a ton of charm, and the story is only part of that. And the more you play, the more this game makes you smile with its tremendous sense of humor. To say nothing of the gameplay, which is just, I mean, it's deliciously retro. <laughs> The game's set up in the Metroidvania mold, meaning you have a huge world to explore and very little direction. If you're gonna rescue your owl friend, uh, who by the way is kidnapped by a magic space frog, you have to find 30 keys scattered through 225 screens. So if you, if you liked exploring the planet Zebes, you'll love finding your way through Laser Cat. Of course, there are some things that set this one apart from a game like Metroid, uh, the humor for starters, but the difficulty is also more tame. It should only take a few hours to finish the game, and there's also a map, so you never exactly get lost, but perhaps the biggest difference is that you don't have any weapons. All you can do is avoid your enemies, and that can make key hunting a bit tense. If you don't deposit your keys at a save station before dying, you lose them. Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't sure what to expect from Laser Cat, but man, I'm really glad I played it. This is one of the best Xbox Live indie games I've ever played, and if only because of the ease with which it made me smile, I can't wait to play it again.